Yo, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? It's your man's DJ Key Product, the Chicago mixtape supplier, back with another one. If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell. So every time I drop new work over here on the Keys Network, you know what's going on. All right, look, we got Corey Holcomb, Chicago's very own comedian Corey Holcomb, taking a lot of heat right now. <coughs> Excuse me. He called his daughter a bitch on his own platform. Damn. Called his daughter out. Man, G. He called his daughter a bitch. Damn. Damn. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But I got a couple clips. I'm going to show y'all. With my handy dandy tablet in my hand. These are a couple of shorts that they took from the from the show. So I'm a, I'm gonna play two of them. Here, here's the first one. Came on me like she was brought up by her mama, but you know what I'm saying. Instead of realizing I got away from her mama because I don't speak to her mama, she be like, "I know you hate my mama." I'm like, "Bitch, I ain't got time to hate nobody. Your mama was drama." Now here it is, all these years later, you just like your mama. Both of y'all kiss my motherfucking man. I'm gonna make another daughter. I don't give a fuck. Man. <laughs> if you ain't good as a person, no matter who you are, I have a cutoff switch, God bless me with, to say, fuck you, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's my kid. Man. My mama, my mama, you know your daughter trying to get in touch with you? I say, oh, mama. Oh, mama. <laughs> Watch that little bitch. Man. All right, so that's that's one clip. Here go here go another one. Here go. Oh, mama, you know your daughter trying right, to get in touch with you. I say, oh, mama, you watch that little bitch. <laughs> watch that little bitch. That bitch is brought up in this new generation where there is no honor, there is no respect thy parents, there is no, there is no, the way the way the youngsters are brought up now, they will fuck over. The mama and daddy quicker than they'll fuck over somebody in the streets. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck if you are so hell bent mm -hmm. in making me a villain and saying I did you wrong. Get the fuck away from me. I didn't love your mama. You just popped up on a nigga. I try to show you love. I, shit, you come out here. I did all this shit for her. She was still talking shit. Oh, mama, you know you doing it, man. So, uh, here are my thoughts on the whole thing. Um, you know, uh, I, I saw a couple YouTubers re react to this, and they were like, "Man, he shouldn't have he he shouldn't have called his daughter all out of her name and stuff." Now, granted, I probably. Even if I felt that way, I probably wouldn't publicize it and 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 and, and go out in 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 front of the world and and just completely disrespect my daughter and and, and call her out, out out of her name and stuff. I wouldn't do that. But there is something about a cutoff thing, you know, because there are some kids that have a sense of entitlement. And they feel like you need to do this and you owe them this and you owe them that and all this other stuff. Now, it comes back, it, it, it all it also comes back to Corey in a way. Here's how. Sir Corey, Corey Holcomb, you chose to lay down with that girl's mom and you had sex with her unprotected and, and well, a daughter came and you know, that's why you gotta be careful about who you decide to have kids with. Make sure you know everything there is to know about that person and that you actually do love that person. So sisters, make sure that that man is the right man brothers make sure that that woman is the right woman you feel me 
You can avoid a lot of stuff if you just do it the right way. Now, there's a passage in the book of Ephesians that speaks about fathers. You know, fathers do not provoke your children to anger. A lot life happens, a lot of things happen, you know. But children are to obey their parents. This is all in the Bible. Children are to obey their parents. One of the Ten Commandments states that you should honor your mother and your father. You know, again, children obey your parents for this is right. And your days on the earth will be long. Everybody forgets all of these things. You know, but the Bible also speaks about you know, fathers not provoking their children to anger, you know, and I, and I get it. You know, some of the, some of the kids, you know, they, they, they are a bit entitled and they are ungrateful and all this other stuff. We, we understand all of this, you know, I just wouldn't go on a, a, a platform and just air it out and call her all out of her name and stuff. I, I, I wouldn't do that. That, that part I don't agree with, but I understand his frustration though. I understand where it's coming from, you know, especially if you're an active participant in your child's life. He you 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 heard what he said in the clip. I show I, I show you love. You know, I've been there for you. I've done this and I've done that. I've done I've done what I could do as a father. You know. And it still ain't enough for some reason. And who knows what what. What mama saying to the child, you know, a lot of single parents, I won't even say a lot. There are some single parents <clears throat> out there. They are raising their kids on a broken heart. You're upset because the marriage didn't last or, it, it, you know, the relationship didn't last and, and it happens. It happens, however it might have ended. But what you should never do is poison your child, is poison your kids with your father wasn't this or your mama wasn't that. All this negative stuff about the other parent, you know, man, bro. I agree with him on the. It's a cutoff point. I can cut you off. I can tell you, no, I love you. I still love you because you my child and the, the, the love between a parent and child should be unconditional. But at some point there's a cutoff, you know, and, and Kwame Brown, shout out to Kwame Brown bus life. Y'all get subscribed to Kwame Brown bus life. He brought up something profound too he brought up something that probably didn't get highlighted we don't know the the measure and the amount of disrespect that might have came his way you know you still ain't happy i've done my job as a father i've done what i was supposed to do was a perfect no absolutely not ain't no perfect there's no such thing as a perfect parent but you can be the best parent that you can be and I'm, I'm going to go out on the limb and I'm going to say Corey did his best. You know, he did his best. But. And, and, and again, like we, we don't know what conversations I had between him and his daughter, him and his baby mother. We don't know. You know. So I, I'm, 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 you know, Corey, I, I, I get it. I get it. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't call her all out of her name and stuff. I, I I wouldn't do all that. And I wouldn't take away my love. You know. But now the part where there there's a cutoff. I'm with you on that. And 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 you, you you're allowed to do that. You know you can you can do that. You know, some parents, they overcompensate for a child not being there. I mean, for uh, not a child. They over they overcompensate for another parent not being there. 
you know, for, for mama not being there or for dad not being there, you know. But if you know in, when that clock hit midnight, when that sun set in the west and that clock hit midnight, you did everything you could to be an active member, an active participant in that child's life. And they turn out to just have this this sense of entitlement and all this other stuff. And, and, and yeah, you do got to look at the era we in. There really is no respect for the parents there. there there's no respect. And a lot of a lot of parents are trying to be their kids friend. And they living certain dreams through their kids. So, you know. It's 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 mistakes all around the board. You know, nobody's perfect. But again, I just wouldn't get on the I just wouldn't get on the internet and just you know just crucify my daughter like that. I wouldn't do that, you know. So yeah, uh, brother Corey Holcomb is taking a lot of heat just for that today, you know. Man, G, I'm not a parent yet, and. I know that, you know, being a parent is not easy. It's, it's, it, there's no, to me, there's no such thing as a perfect parent. At some point throughout parenthood, you're going to make mistakes. You know, you're going to get it wrong. But when it's all said and done, the Bible says, honor your mother and your father and children obey your parents for this is right. And your days on, on earth will be long. But just like it says that it instructs children to do that. It also instructs parents train up a child in the way it should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Fathers. Do not provoke your children to anger. I'm gonna just leave it at that. What you guys think about this? Drop a comment, leave a like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell. And until next time, you already know, hey.